to solve the problems in the prototype. Then I'll show uh, some evaluation result, results for performance and uh, durability. <coughs> and share some uh, related technical trends before uh, concluding uh, this talk. Uh, here, uh, let's start by introduction. <coughs> Uh, this figure uh, uh, briefly shows basic flow of uh, write data in database management system. <coughs> While uh, table and index uh, data are written in the storage uh, uh, in storage device uh, asynchronously, uh, uh, while uh, transaction log X log records uh, are written uh, synchronously. <coughs> Thanks to uh, this synchronous write, uh, DBMS is guaranteed to be uh, durable. However, <coughs> as shown in the, uh, the uh, however, uh, sync write uh, uh, operation takes a uh, longer time, which introduces uh, overhead in the transaction processing uh, done by the worker processes, <coughs> especially in large heavy uh, transactions. Here, let's look at the difference between synchronous and asynchronous write <coughs> commit. Uh, this time chart shows a tra uh, transaction processing and word write operation. Transaction processing uh, is Modi uh, is modify the DB contents, which is carried out mainly by using CPU. <coughs> On the other hand, the word write here <coughs> is an I/O operation. Important here is that the transaction becomes durable after the word <coughs> write is completed, <coughs> which is a synchronous commit. <coughs> In synchronous commit case. The no notification <coughs> of a transaction commit is uh, issued after the transaction uh, durability is guaranteed. Um, but uh, but uh, shows uh, <coughs> shows uh, but uh, it uh, it uh, achieves uh, at the cost of uh, uh, slow response. On the other hand, uh, when you use, uh, 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 sorry, uh, when you use uh, asynchronous commit in your DBMS, uh, the notification of a transaction commit is uh, issued uh, to the client before, before uh, here, uh, before uh, the transaction becomes durable. Therefore, Using asynchronous commit <coughs> uh, has a risk of losing committed transactions. <coughs> In a nutshell, performance improvement by using asynchronous commit is achieved at the risk of transaction loss. These graphs shows difference in performance between synchronous and asynchronous commit measured by PG bench. As can be seen, the difference is large uh, when the disk drive cache is off. And the difference is um, still, um, uh, still uh, visible <coughs> even if disk drive cache is on. The uh, experiment, ex experimental setup uh, will be shown later. <coughs> Um, the fundamental idea for NV log logging is that uh, uh, the NVM logging has been uh, delivered from one question. Why synchronous write is necessary for word write? The reason is that mm. the memory for the word buffer is uh, volatile. 
this is because uh, the usual DRAM is used for uh, this uh, memory device. <coughs> it was common sense that main memory usually implemented by DRAM is uh, volatile. In this concern, fundamental idea for NV log NVM logging is fairly simple. That is, uh, synchronous write of while is no longer necessary if uh, this uh, wall buffer is on a non-volatile memory. In other words, the key point is in NV log NVM logging is ex uh, expanding the non-volatile world uh, to include the wall buffer. Here, I would like to note the important characteristics of NVM used for wall buffer. Uh, when we uh, interpret the word uh, NVM literally, hard disks and SSDs are included in NVM. How, uh, however, they differ from NVM uh, used in NVM logging this is a byte uh, address of NVM, which means that uh, the data uh, written uh, by CPU ins instruction is durable. On the other hand, uh, usual storage devices uh, need I.O. operation uh, issued by uh, operating system. Uh, from now on, I will use the word NVM to mean uh, byte addressable uh, NVM. As to the byte addressable NVM, uh, roughly speaking, there are two types in implementing NVM mechanism. One is a combination of existing technologies such as uh, and DRAM, DRAM and SSD and backup battery, so-called uh, NVDIM. The other is using uh, a non-volatile memory cell, such as PCM, uh, MRAM, FRAM, and memory store. NVM logging does not depend on the type of NVM device, but it is rather uh, suitable for NVM DIM as NVDIM is uh, relatively uh, small, uh, small capacity and uh, ready to use. Also, access time is uh, a strong point of this device because uh, uh, usual mode uh, DRAM is used for uh, a memory device. SSD is o uh, only uh, when used uh, 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 such as uh, power failure or something like that. <coughs> and then uh, problem to be solved. Again, a uh, fundamental idea for NV logging is uh, simple. But it is not simpler than it looks. Naive implementation of NV logging uh, would be uh, allocating wall buffer in NVM area and using asynchronous commit mode uh, to uh, the uh, DBMS. But it is not sufficient because uh, there are problems uh, like uh, partial write, uh, unreachable uh, edge log records, and CPU cache effect. Before I detail the problems, let's review the necessary condition for recovery. In a recovery procedure, a transaction is possible to recover if the uh, recovery process leads all the uh, extra records of the transaction correctly. This is uh, transaction will be lost if the recovery process leads uh, uh, incorrect and lead an incorrect 
uh, X log record, or it cannot find any uh, necessary X log records. First problem is partial write. Uh, this occurs. Uh, uh, this is a recovery process. We read an incomplete X uh, X log record. Uh, uh, this occurs when uh, system crashes in the middle of writing uh, uh, X log record. Uh, this gra uh, this uh, figure shows the uh, situation at uh, at pitch at when. Uh, if uh, when the uh, this uh, partial write problem occurs, uh, this uh, brown area shows the uh, area for uh, one uh, X log record is written, and uh, this white area is not written. Uh, in the middle of uh, X log record copy. Uh, uh, system if uh, for when system crashes, uh, this uh, situation arises. <coughs> uh, next uh, is uh, unreachable X log, X log record problem. This picture uh, shows uh, one buffer situation when the uh, this problem occurs. The problem is that the right of uh, the X log record tree is finished. And the write of X record is not begun. Uh, this uh, uh, problem uh, occurs uh, uh, when, uh, when the, the JVMS uh, uses uh, pipeline flash uh, one log uh, X log flash uh, mechanism. Uh, if uh, recovery is carried out using this uh, one buffer, X log reader cannot find uh, this uh, X log record tree because uh, X log reader uh, cannot know the length of X log record two uh, because uh, one uh, X log reader uh, access uh, this uh, X log and uh, adding this uh, logical sequence number two and uh, to uh, and length one, uh, then uh, head of X log record two is uh, obtained. And trying to uh, similar uh, calculation, but uh, there is no uh, length field, so uh, this uh, X log record cannot be found. As the uh, right of X log record three is uh, completed, uh, commit of the corresponding trans transaction is possibly uh, uh, finished, uh, re resulting in a transaction uh, loss. As to uh, uh, CPU cache uh, employing uh, write back policy, uh, data uh, written uh, by uh, a store in instruction of the CPU does not reach memory immediate, immediately. Of course, uh, NVM has the same story. That is, uh, there are a risk of transaction loss if the system crashes after a transaction commit finishes and uh, uh, before X, uh, its X log record uh, uh, reach NVM. In this case, recovery process will lead uh, incorrect, incorrect uh, X log records. Then uh, I'll uh, present uh, implementation of uh, prototype. <coughs> this diagram illustrates the architecture of a prototype that implement NVM logging. Uh, this prototype uses two Linux kernel module, this one and this one, uh, uh, specific, specific for the prototype. PRAM module uh, reserves kernel memory, which is used as a pseudo NVM. It is 
uh, NVM emulator in that it preserves uh, its uh, contents uh, even if the uh, process that use uh, pseudo N uh, NVM uh, are bought. But uh, uh, this uh, contents uh, will be lost uh, when uh, power, uh, uh, in the case of power loss. So uh, this uh, uh, prototype uh, does not uh, care the power loss event, but uh, enough for uh, process abort. And then uh, how to, uh, this uh, slide showed how to prevent uh, partial write problems. Uh, uh, normally, uh, well, uh, extra records are uh, copied into wall buffer uh, in from head to tail. But in this uh, imp uh, prototype, uh, extra records uh, are uh, written uh, uh, other than uh, length field. So uh, length field is uh, written in the extra buffer uh, at the last. So uh, if a uh, system crashes in the middle of uh, extra uh, copy, uh, length is uh, zero. So uh, extra reader uh, recognize that uh, there is no uh, extra record. So uh, partial write problem uh, doesn't occur. And this uh, slide, uh, slide shows uh, how to uh, prevent uh, unreadable extra record. And uh, the this prototype prevents the unreachable extra record problem in the most strict way. That is, uh, when worker process finish uh, to write uh, extra records of commit here, it confirms that all the previous extra records are written or not. If uh, those write operation uh, are not finished uh, in this case, the worker process wait until uh, these uh, right operations are finished. So uh, this uh, uh, this uh, worker process of uh, that carries uh, transaction three wait uh, until uh, previous extra records uh, write are uh, finished. This weight control is uh, implemented uh, using uh, existing uh, PostgreSQL function. Uh, fortunately, uh, PostgreSQL has a function that implements the necessary weight mechanism. Therefore, the prototype uses this function uh, for the, uh, this weight control. This simplifies uh, the uh, implementation of uh, weight control very much. And uh, and as to uh, cache uh, problem, uh, the uh, prototype used uh, light combined mode. That is, uh, the memory area assigned for NVM uh, set uh, write combined mode, which is a variation of write through mode of uh, CPU cache. By using a uh, write combined mode, it is not necessary for PostgreSQL to care the problem due to the inconsistency between cache and main memory. And uh, and this is uh, just a little bit uh, trivial thing, but uh, 
uh, new uh, GUC parameter is added to the prototype. Uh, that is, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, NVM uh, VRAM file name. Uh, when uh, this uh, GUC parameter is set, uh, NVM logging mechanism is active, activated. When the parameter <coughs> is not specified, the behavior is the same as that of the original PostgreSQL. And recovery is uh, performed as follows. At first, the recovery process check whether the data in the NVM is valid or not. If the NVM maintain, uh, contains valid log record, then begin and, and end uh, LSN logical sequence number are uh, identified. After uh, do, uh, this checking, uh, recovery procedure is uh, perform, performing, uh, is being performing, in which uh, NVM, uh, NVM is be is read for uh, those extra records whose LSN is between the uh, minimum and maximum LSN instead of uh, uh, one file uh, written in storage device. Uh, other part, uh, while uh, data is read, uh, read from uh, the uh, one file uh, on the uh, storage device. Other than the uh, uh, extra reader, uh, recovery process is uh, exactly the same as the uh, original uh, uh, postgre SQL. And uh, another, maybe it is uh, uh, also trivial thing, but uh, lap round uh, of wall buffer uh, control is uh, necessary. Yeah. As shown in the uh, previous As shown in the previous slide, the NVM wall buffer is managed as if it is a collection of multiple wall segments. This, 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 uh, this, uh, this figure shows uh, the uh, wall segments is, a uh, number of wall segments is four. This uh, diagram illustrates the ro logical state of wall where uh, ex ex uh, evacuated up to uh, points the current save of extra records that has been saved in the storage device. Uh, current line right point indicates the tail of uh, valid wall log, log records and uh, initialize up to points the tail of wall buffer initialization. Uh, corresponding physical uh, uh, corresponding physical state is shown in the lower diagram. As wall buffer is used in a ring buffer manner, it arises a race between uh, current uh, initi initialized up to and current point pointers. Current prototype manages the race in that these two pointers uh, does not point the same wall segment. That is, advance of initialize up to, uh, I, I'm sorry, uh, this condition occurs initialize up to and evacuate up to, up to I'm sorry. <laughs> advance of uh, initialize up to into a new world segment have to wait until uh, evacuated up to pointer leaves the, uh, this world segment. Otherwise, this uh, well, this one well records cannot be read by the recovery process. 
and here, from here, uh, I will show uh, the evaluation results. Uh, experimental, experimental setup is that uh, Devi server has uh, uh, 16 cores, uh, Devi server uh, memory wa uh, is uh, 64 gigabytes and storage uh, is uh, these uh, SSD, uh, RAID 0 configuration of SSD for data and uh, HD uh, for of HD for world uh, area. And client is uh, this uh, configuration, and they are connected via uh, one uh, gigabyte ether network. This graph uh, uh, shows uh, the variation of throughput as a function of the number of clients. And uh, as uh, this graph uh, is uh, previously shown, but uh, ex except that uh, the results of NVM logging case is added. As can be seen, uh, NVM logging uh, deliver a similar performance as asynchronous uh, commit case. And uh, also, uh, this, uh, uh, in this drive cache on case, uh, NVM logging uh, also uh, deliver uh, the, sa as the same performance of asynchronous commit. And the, these are uh, DBT2 cases. Uh, DBT2 is an uh, open source uh, implementation of TPCC benchmark. <coughs> in, in the disk cache on case, the performance of sync commit was closer to that of asynchronous commit and NVM logging. The reason is that uh, response of uh, response of right IO is short when uh, right back cache uh, this uh, disk drive cache uh, is used therefore you may think nvm logging is not necessary when ssd is used for uh, wall storage however nvm logging is also good for ssd lifetime because it reduces the right amplitude as shown in this figure. When synchronous commit strategy is used, IO operation is performed every time when a transaction is committed. This multiple write to one mm, data block increases the write amplitude, which reduces the SSD lifetime. On the other hand, when NVM logging is used, IO for and uh, one data block is performed once. It is uh, good for uh, SSD lifetime. Also, uh, durability has been examined for NVM logging. As I uh, could not find some uh, three uh, test tool for durability of DVMS, I have made a test tool and used it. This slide illustrates the tool outline. There are two tables. Each has key and value uh, columns. And each client updates, uh, where, uh, updates value uh, column in the corresponding row uh, constant, uh, constantly. In this situation, a fault is injected in the DBMS. Uh, more specifically, uh, PostgreSQL process are uh, intentionally uh, killed and then uh, started and then started where recovery is carried out. The criterion for the durability is that uh, um, checking whether the value of the table one and the table two is equal to V 
or uh, that each client recorded as the result of the last transaction. The uh, results were just we uh, expected. That is, uh, committed transactions are recovered when PostgreSQL uses synchronous commit or NVM logging, and not recovered when a synchronous commit is used. Uh, before concluding my talk, I would like to show uh, I would like to share recent technical trends. NVM device has been uh, manufactured for a long time, and it was used for limited applications such as RAID systems. But recently, uh, thanks to NVM stand standardization, NVDIM has uh, extended its application area to DB servers. Uh, in fact, HPE has announced this IA server, which supports NVDIM. These movements indicate DB server with NVM div is just around the corner. And programming support for NVM also has been uh, developed. An example uh, is uh, P, uh, PMEM IO that pro provides an access to NVM through Linux operating system. Here, Persistent memory, persistent memory is an alias of NVM. A conclusion is that NVM is uh, becoming a commodity, and NVM DIM is already uh, shipped as a product, and server, DB servers began to equip with NVDIM, and benefit of NVM logging is a performance improvement that is almost the same as a synchronous commit. And durability is ensured, uh, which is similar to synchronous commit. And uh, right, uh, right amplitude uh, reduction. It is good for SSD lifetime. And future work uh, include uh, bring to a state, uh, source code state, uh, which is acceptab acceptable for the main line. Uh, by doing, uh, to doing that, to do that, uh, cope with standard for NVM access. Uh, LibPM is a, a promising candidate, I think, and check the operating, and check the correctness of operation in using real NVM. This prototype is a pseudo NVM, so uh, we, uh, we, we have used uh, real NVM and check when uh, power is shut, uh, uh, transaction is, is survived uh, for uh, power failure. That's it, thanks for listening. Pardon? Uh, PM is uh, not uh, related to, uh, directly related to uh, X log logging, uh, I think. Yeah, so uh. Lib Lib PM is using logging functionality. Why? Oh. I think LibPM uh, uh, logging mechanism uh, is not used. Uh, it's only uh, allocate uh, NVM area to 
uh, PostgreSQL uh, uh, wall buffer, I think. Transaction end of log. Uh, Lib uh, already have that. Yes. Uh, this uh, I I don't think uh, that I you. I don't think uh, PostgreSQL uh, use uh, DPM logging mechanism. Uh, uh, this implementation o uh, shows that, uh, uh, propose that uh, only allo uh, allocating uh, NVM area to uh, PostgreSQL's wall buffer. O only uh, use uh, that function of uh, DPM. DPM, so it, it's not uh, a fully used uh, DPM function. Did, did it <laughs> does it answer <laughs> your question? Yes, that does answer the question. Right. Because I think one of the challenges is so much research going on right now, so much development in the community. Mm. Where Yes, above. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, but but it it is a very simple case of uh, NVM utilization, I think. But but uh, because it is easy, uh, we can uh, implement as soon as possible. Uh, soon, soon. Other questions? Okay, <laughs> thanks.